The vitality of the United Methodist Church and its mission to the world depends on the vitality of our pastors. And the vitality of our pastors is bound to their financial sustainability. In 2012, the General Conference charged GBHEM to create a Seminary Indebtedness Task Force that would develop a denominational plan to reduce and eliminate educational debt among United Methodist clergy. The task force led research initiatives and collaborated in conversations over the past quadrennium with the Association of the United Methodist Schools of Theology, with United Methodist Annual Conferences, with the National Association of United Methodist Foundations, with current seminarians, clergy, local churches, and other general agencies to research the educational debt reality for United Methodist clergy, to develop strategies to alleviate clergy debt burdens, and to identify best practices to provide financial education and literacy to candidates for ministry. The following was discovered. Quality higher education comes at a cost and quality theological education is no exception. Nearly three out of four United Methodist Master of Divinity graduates in the 2013 to 2014 academic year borrowed money to finance their education. The average cumulative undergraduate and graduate educational debt for these students averaged around $66,000 for those who borrowed. Based upon the median total compensation for all active full-time provisional elders and deacons, with two years or less of service, a new provisional member can reasonably afford the monthly payment on debt of no more than $35,000, which is termed their critical debt level. My husband and I go to seminary together, and one of our big goals coming out of seminary was to not be in so much debt, to um, be an embarrassment to ourselves, if you will. So a goal is to bring awareness of how they can limit that debt and maintain the debt that they do have to incur and survive and actually make it a successful experience going through seminary in particular. Thus, the task force is focusing on addressing clergy sustainability. Undoubtedly, the United Methodist Theological Schools are second to none in teaching, training, and preparing clergy while doing an amazing job enhancing the affordability of theological education by developing creative initiatives and programs. In the 2013 to 14 academic year, the 13 United Methodist Theological Schools provided over $32 million in institutional scholarships and grants to students. All 13 United Methodist Theological Schools are on board to match the new Excellence in Clergy Leadership Scholarship, along with GBHEM and the Lilly Endowment Grant given to the General Board of Pension and Health Benefits. I continually see students of all ages, but especially young adult students, receive scholarship funding that transforms their ability to pay for school and also frees them for effective and immediate ministry the moment they graduate because they are not burdened and overwhelmed by debt. It gives me a sense of accountability, you know, because the church has invested in me and um, I ought to return that investment. For the future, the GBHEM Seminary Indebtedness Task Force seeks to prevent unnecessary educational debt for clergy by making funding theological education a priority of the United Methodist Church. You can find the full report of the Seminary Indebtedness Task Force at www.gbhem.org forward slash GC16.